Happy Sunday. Welcome. Hi, Keisha. Hi, Sonja. Happy Sunday, ladies. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Come on in. Go ahead, hit the thumbs up. Hi, Mrs. Q. Go ahead, get comfortable. Grab you something to drink. Hello, Rosalind. Get ready to settle in. I don't think that tonight's lineup is going to be much of a surprise for those of you that have hung out with me for 2020. Hi, Living Lil' Kim Live. Welcome. Happy Sunday. Thank you. I actually made this a few years ago, Sonja. So um, my aunt that passed away was very much into jewelry making and beading. And I um, took some lessons from her and got into this mode of um, jewelry making. I didn't put the earrings on and I left the bracelet upstairs because I've been working in the pantry. But this is one of the pieces that I actually made. So she's been on my mind lately. So I went back and kind of pulled back out some of the pieces that I made that she gave me the approval of you know when I did this one she was like okay you might you might have some some jewelry making skills with all of my tools and beats and stuff in the basement I haven't done anything with it as of late but anyway thank you Sandra thank you thank you hello B star Lisa J's world hello hello hi Lucinda so here's what I'm gonna do I, you know, they say confession is good for the soul and it's Sunday. So I'm going to just go ahead and confess to my tribe sisters. I had every intention of filming this video and either uploading it like everybody else that participated in the challenge or having it premiere tonight so that I could sit in my pajamas and just interact in the chat but needless to say i had some family stuff that came up um yesterday and today so i didn't get a chance so we're gonna just do it live tonight um but i'm curious um if you would in the comments or if you're watching on the replay in the comments list a couple of bags that you think might appear in my top 10 of 2020. I'm just curious to see like how well um, you as my tribe sisters know me, know my style, my collection, or what you remember that I gushed all over in 2020. I'm just curious to see what you think is going to make the list. And I'm just going to kind of, you know, give you, I'm not going to do the Jeopardy uh, music because I don't really sing like that. But um, I'm just going to give you a second to kind of capture what the best of um, was, what you think will make the list tonight. Because I think it may surprise you. I think it may surprise you. So... The first one, because I'm like sitting in a sea of bags. Um, oh, y'all got some good guesses coming in. Rosanna, The Central, Zip Tote, Dempsey, Barlow, Russell, Double Swagger, Cassie, Leisure, MCM. Y'all got some good guesses, some good, good guesses. Be sure to hit the thumbs up. We are going to jump right in, and I will tell you, I don't have any particular order except for the very last bag that I'm going to show. So, one through nine is a toss-up. All of these could be, you know, number two, and then there's only one bag for me in 2020 that actually made number one and the first one none other than my florentine red smith not because smith is new 
Not because I don't already have a Smith in my collection, but because I, for years, have wanted the red Florentine Smith. I absolutely refused to purchase it off of the secondary market. And magically, in 2020, the purse heavens opened up and Dooney released the red Florentine Smith. And it was at an amazing price. It was completely random when it appeared. And I will never forget the conversation that I had with DJ King because it was full of high-pitched little girl squeals and it was like rainbows and sunshine for the rest of the day and it was just amazing. This bag I know is a big bag. It is not for everyone. I know that carrying Florentine is not for everyone. But good shoulder drop, outside, front, and back pocket. It has feet. It has an amazing wide interior. The mouth of the bag opens up wide so you can see all of your stuff. Yes, it has some weight to it, but I contribute that to it being just good old duty, Florentine, and I love this bag because it was new, great price, under warranty. I did not have to scour the secondary market. I did not have to bring a possible bag from a COVID exposed home into my collection in order for me to be able to get this bag and what was even more amazing about it is after i ordered it i went out on the secondary market and there were used bags that were selling for more than my brand new bag under warranty was selling for so you can tell she been loved. She has not been back in her dust cover in her bag since I got her. Um, but I really enjoy carrying her. You can tell she's already getting a little bit of a patina in that red because it's a little bit lighter here, a little bit darker here. That's because I, I carry her. I wore her and she got some bare arm time. So she got some oils and lotions and stuff all over her. But if you go back and watch the initial um, reveal of this bag, it was very even in color. So you can tell I have definitely enjoyed Smith in 2020. The next bag, let me tell you, when I saw the advertisement for this bag on the Coach website, and I saw J-Lo holding this bag, I understood instantly, let me rephrase that, I was reminded instantly on the power of visual marketing. Because my complexion and J-Lo's complexion, our size, our hair, the only thing we might have even remotely close are our eye colors, and I'm pretty sure hers are a little bit lighter brown than mine, but I knew I had to have this bag. And just like DJ King goes into the enabler corner for Smith because I would have completely missed that purchase, none other than Rosalind Ellis can join her because the courier in color block I got all kinds of 70s vibes I thought about my boots my winter coats my sweaters tops slacks dresses for work I started thinking about accessories in my collection those that I needed to add outside pocket she's got on boots Love the closure. Love the fact that she comes with both a top handle so you can carry her very, very ladylike or you can throw her on your shoulder or crossbody her, which is not how I plan to carry her. 
She's got hardware on the top, so I can use any of my 10,001 uh, MK guitar straps as an addition to her. She's got a place so that if I want it to be charmed by Carmen in this colorway, I can absolutely add a charm. Absolutely perfect, easy access for my mask or my phone or any of the 9,000 other things that we like to be able to quickly get to. I could not believe the price on this. And no, I probably did not get the best deal on this bag. But you know what? I got a new bag. I didn't get a return bag. I got the bag when I wanted it. And it was absolute love at first sight. This, this bag in 2020 was the first bag that literally went to work with me and hung out in my home office with nothing in it except the, the stuffing that came in it and I took the strap out and put the strap on it. And when I came out and got ready to sign into my laptop, I came into my workspace with courier on my arm and I nicely dropped her so that she had a seated view in my office and me and her, we hung out for a week. I love this bag. Not only do I have this one, but I added a couple of other colors. You've already seen the elm on here. Y'all know I was a little iffy on elm. I wasn't sure if elm was going to be a rock star or not, but she's still here. She's gorgeous. And I've added two other colors into my collection. So I just could not let 2020 pass without acknowledging my love for Courier, my growing collection, and the first bag of 2020 that actually made it to the office. All right, so that is bag number two. Bag number three. This one is going to surprise y'all. But all I'm going to remind you of are the things that I have said over and over and over again in 2020 about bags and bags that work for me, bags that I like. One, y'all already know, red color is my jam. I don't care whether I'm wearing color block. I don't care whether I'm wearing purple. I don't care whether I'm wearing a print. I don't care if I were in hoodies and a sweatshirt. I don't care what it is. A red bag has no restrictions for me in my collection. If all else fails, if I can't figure out anything else that I want to reach for, I will reach for a red bag and rock the heck out of it because a red is just as much a neutral for me as black is for some of you. So you already know this bag is red. You already know it's a tote. You should already know she got a big butt, which means she's more than four and a half inches in the butt because I don't do four four and a half inch butts. That's not my thing. You should know that she has feet. She's got outside pockets. Zipper top closure, right? Because those are just things like when I, you know, did the series about or the, um, the live stream about learning your handbag profile, knowing your handbag personality, take into consideration the dimensions and back features that absolutely work for you, your lifestyle, your carry, so that it helps you to streamline what catches your attention and so that it helps to cut down on the number of bags that you're likely to return. This bag checked all, all of the criteria for me. And 
It is none other than the Dooney and Burke Large Camden Tote. Shoulder drop, top, zip. let me, let me flip. This bag is everything, everything, everything that I like. It's got some interest, low maintenance. So whether it's snow, whether it's raining, got a big outside pocket. Do y'all remember everything in that live that I put in this outside pocket and how no other pocket since then has really compared to everything that I was able to put in here. If you didn't see that, make sure you go back because it was a good live because this outside pocket hold, held as much as some of you keep in your little crossbodies. You can get all of that in this outside pocket. It is a huge pocket. I love the fact that this texture, the highs and lows, this is going to be low to no maintenance, easy access to my phone. I don't have to thread this bag up my arm. It goes in one smooth motion, clears my elbow up to my shoulder. It has good shoulder straps and they're wide enough to hold on. Big butt bag. She's got plenty of length, plenty of height. Great organization. I My only wish is that in 2021, they take this same silhouette and give me this in Florentine. I don't, I don't have to have the texture, but give, give me this in Kelly Green. Give me this in natural florent smooth florentine give me this bag in oh give it to me in oyster or ecru in florentine i might come off a of bag band island for that one this bag checked all let me say that again it checked all of my criteria. Feet, tote, zip, shoulder drop, outside pocket, big butt bag, amazing dimensions, red color, and this bag don't care anything about what the weather's doing outside. It says, bring it on, I can roll with the punches. So that is why the Woven Large Camden makes my best of 2020 bags list. And it smells good. It's not a Florentine smell, but it's it's a good bag. It's a really good one. All right, so this next one is probably gonna surprise you because I don't know if some of you even know that I purchased this bag in black, but I have the large in black and I have the medium in black and it's the medium Russell in Florentine. My critique of this bag remains the same, which is why the woven was so much higher in my preference on my preferred preference list than this one because with the exception of Florentine and this having an outside pocket and not having the zipper, do y'all see where those comparisons are coming in? If you like the size of the medium Russell, the feet, the outside pocket, if your preference is on the front versus the back, but you prefer a zipper and you would want a longer shoulder drop. For me, the last bag that I just shared checks all of the things that I want this bag to be. So if they give me that bag in Florentine, I may have to part ways with my Russell collection, y'all, and 
I can't, I, I, there aren't, there aren't many Russells that I have let pass my way over the years because I have always been a fan of this bag and have always had a critique of the shoulder drop. It's terrible. It is absolutely terrible. The shoulder drop is wrong and then the rolled handles, it just magnifies that a thousand times over. So if Camden, what is that on my sweater? So Camden checks all of those boxes. I just needed in Florentine. Um, 2020 was an odd year. And I can say that it was odd because I think I purchased three black bags in 2020. I, I truly think that my handbag soul was preparing for the zombie apocalypse for me to be buying black bags. But nonetheless, I bought them. They're here. They've been amazing, and that's all I'm going to say about Russell because we don't seem to go too long on this channel. Whether I'm, you know, in love or out of love with Peter Dooney, we still don't go too long without talking about Russell or Leisure. And on that note, we might as well go ahead and talk about Leisure. Because whether you are the, the, the full size or the small in the leisure, this bag is an absolute amazing carry. Whether it's novelty, whether it's Safiano, whether it's got cupcakes on it, whether it's got palm leaves, it does not matter. This bag seems to be the bag that every other bag, every other purchase, every other set of dimensions gets compared to. Because if the dimensions are close or bigger than leisure, then I can make it work. I know that it's going to work. Um, short of that, it falls into a specialty or special category bag, right? And by that, I mean, if the bag does not check these dimensions, then usually it's probably going to struggle to be an everyday carry for me. It's probably not going to be a bag that I think of on a regular basis to reach for because this is kind of the gold standard for me in my collection. And I know if you're watching on replay or you're not as familiar with the bags that I've talked about on my channel over the years, you may be just looking at this thinking blah, but it's one of those things that you have to experience. It's like having a croissant in France. Yeah, you can get them at Costco and you can get them at Publix in the bakery, but having one in France, it, it's different. Until you have one of these in your collection, until you've actually spent time with it and carried it and gotten comfortable with it, I just don't know that there are words that I can say to help you understand why there are so many of us that have leisures on our best of pick a year list um why this is the silhouette that oftentimes joins us to bag Ban island why this bag is more frequently purchased probably than some of the other silhouettes it's because until you experience it there just aren't words for us to tell you how amazing this bag is yeah, that's, that's it. I'm fair. I'm even. I'm balanced. I know. I know. I've given Dooney a hard time this year, but Dooney earned every sip and cuss they got this year because they did some shady shenanigans. But that does not change the fact that I love the products from them that I have. But until they can get their aspirations together, I can 
shop elsewhere or just enjoy what I have. But anyway, leisure makes the list. Uh, there's no doubt leisure makes the list. All right. But I'm going to tell you what has given leisure a straight run for its money. Baby, this Avery tote, let me tell you. <laughs> I went to move out of Avery. I know I was supposed to be moving into the seven day challenge and I'm going to do that, but I, I'll just, I'll be, I'm going to be a late bloomer um, in that. But I moved out of Avery yesterday and moved into, what was it? My Florentine Natural Kingston. And you know what I realized as I was moving out of this big baby into Kingston? Was it Kingston or Clayton? What did I text y'all a picture of? Was it Kingston or Clayton? I think it was Kingston. Lucinda, it was Kingston, right? <laughs> Rosalind, somebody. It was Kingston, right? That's what I moved. Clayton, okay, thank you. Okay, so I moved into the Florentine natural Clayton. She's been hanging out in the Dooney vault for nine years in the plastic and the dust cover waiting for her debut. I moved my stuff into her and baby, let me tell you what I realized. All of them little pockets because the po although the organization on this bag is very different from that of Clayton, the pockets on this bag are much bigger than they are in Dooney. So as I was taking my um, little pack of gloves and my uh, uh, pack of um, wipes and I had some uh, mask and hand sanitizer that like fit in the pocket in here with no problems, when I got ready to put that over in Clayton, I was like, wait a minute now, I'm going to have to have two hands to get you situated down in here. I hadn't had to fight with no pocket since, you know, right after Thanksgiving, but right after my birthday, I was like, mm. so, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to move back out of Clayton here very soon. Probably tomorrow. And move back into my Avery. <laughs> because big pockets. I've gotten over the whole saggy. The weight of the bottom. Because what I realized is when I moved into Clayton and got all my stuff in there and ran my hand across the bottom, she sags too. Mm-hmm. I didn't realize that because I hadn't carried that one. And the last time I carried a Clayton in general, my everyday carry was a whole lot lighter. And believe it or not, I was carrying the black one. But it's got some sag on the bottom of that one too. So I, I, I need to start looking feeling more on the bottom of my Dooney bags because maybe there's more there than sagging than I have previously acknowledged but I did do this bag with the bag organizer and it does keep the bottom from sagging but at the end of the day I took it out I just prefer I just I prefer it without it it's that's a good bag, y'all. <laughs> it's just a good bag. She has been in the rain, in the snow. She's been in the sunshine, in the rain, in the snow, in the sunshine. And she just keeps getting better. She holds everything and then some. Snaps stay closed even when I have her way down at her heaviest. 
these combat boots. And although I was thinking that my next purchase from Go Forth Goods would have the zipper, um, I don't know that it's worth the money. I'm sure it is. And I, well, let me rephrase that. I I will eventually get a zipper top one. But because this bag has tumbled off of the front seat uh, several times now and my stuff didn't go everywhere, it holds everything in, I just haven't been compelled to go to the deluxe version of this bag that has the zipper because the snaps are amazing. Eventually, I will. I'm waiting to see what the new spring, summer leather colors are for Go Forth Goods. And I will probably do a zipper top bag in one of those colors if I find something that I like. But for now, this right here, she's amazing. <laughs> she is amazing. And I am beating her up. Roslyn, you know how you felt about your Ashton? <laughs> um, I'm going to need to talk to uh, your mama this day. She can tell me how to clean my bag because it's going to need a cleaning. It's it's getting that much. I'm not babying her. Um, any kind of weather. She's just got to go. She's just got to. She's just got to go. She's. Okay, I'm moving on. I'm moving on. I'm moving on. I'm moving on. All right. Next one. <clears throat> this bag I carried after me and Peter's divorce because I was in mourning. Um, yeah, I was in mourning. And I'm, I'm still trying to figure out if we're going to get remarried. But this is the bag that I carried in mourning for my marriage being dissolved with Peter. And she's been put back up and all repackaged. But now I know this right here, me carrying this right here, this is proof. That 2020 was an off year because I carried black and I divorced Peter. <laughs> it don't get any stranger than that. But let me just say, this bag, not this bag, because the natural colored one, the natural Florentine is my go-to. It has, it's amazing. That has been my go-to, but... This silhouette is amazing to carry. If you like a little bit of versatility, like a bag that um, can hold a consolidated everyday essentials carry. So in other words, instead of carrying... 13 lip products, if you can get away with carrying two or three, um, but you still got a full-size wallet, a place for you to put one, two, three phones, place for you to put your mask, um, a place for you to throw a full um, sunglass case. If that kind of carry is something you would like, but maybe... Cassie just isn't quite big enough, right? Because there were times when I carried Cassie where I was like, but, okay, I like her. I'm actually loving the color and the carry, but, okay, I'm going to have to walk around with my keys because with everything else that I wanted to put in the bag, I didn't have room to put my keys in the bag without it, you know, getting distorted in shapes. If that is a challenge for you, then a carry crossbody shoulder bag um, that can handle all of that, this. Much like Smith, this was a bag that just 
didn't seem like Dooney was listening to us and saying we want to bring it, want you to bring it back. Um, my only, I, I, I would get this bag if they brought it back in red because I want it in red. I would also get it in Kelly Green if they ever decided to listen to our color request. Um, I would get this bag in, um, they had a charcoal gray color. I would get it in the gray. Um, would I get it in navy? No, I don't think I'd get it in navy. But there are a few other colors that if they brought it back in some additional colors in Florentine, then I, I would. But it was nice to pull this one out. Um, it kind of got me through my morning of my birthday bag getting back the same return and, you know, moving out from Peter's house. Just call spade a spade. That's what we did. All right. The next one has... Um, who, who, who? So this one, um, Mrs. Q is going to join, uh, DJ King and Rosalind Ellis in the Enabler Corner because I don't know that Boston was on my radar screen until Mrs. Q made a Boston purchase when the rest of us were focused on getting uh, the large Clara in one of three colors, right? It was the Luff Blue, it was the Dove Gray, and then it was the Coco. And while we were all focused on uh, getting Clara, making those initial purchases and exploring the brand of MCM, Mrs. Q was making a Boston purchase. And if that purchase taught me anything about my initial experience in shopping with MCM, it's when they have it in stock, you don't think about it. You just pull the trigger. Because from the time that Mrs. Q got her her Boston bag, it was almost 24 months to the date before they were back in stock at the outlet in, a, in, in the big size. So we've already talked about this bag in a couple of lives at the end of 2020. Even I think it has been a comparison in 21 so far. It is amazing. And yes, I have two of them. I have two. I have two. But it took a long time to get those two. And that's the point. That's the point. If they have them. And it's a color that you're interested in. You just pull the trigger because somebody else will pull the trigger and they will be gone and they will take forever to get it back in stock. Now, there is a new one. Oh, what is the new color? Um, Fiesta, Red Fiesta. Fiesta Red. Red, Red Fiesta, I think, is the new color. She's on my radar. I'm not yet ready to spend eight fifty because I think she'll eventually land at the outlet at some point in some quantity. But that red fiesta, if you have not seen it, just go out and Google um, MCM Boston Red Fiesta, and Google Images should take you right to the MCM site so that you can see their latest release in this bag. All right, the next one 
is another DL. Probably should have pulled out one of the other totes that I've actually carried, but I just bear with me on this one. So, um, both DJ King can, you know, take another bow. And we're going to have uh, Lucinda Quimbley as well as uh, Mono's Beauty to join Mrs. Q and Roslyn in the enabler corner. And um, we're going to go ahead and also have uh, Candy Crusher join them because um, I don't know that I've shared this. So Candy Crusher, Shadow Smith, um, um, who else? Um, Life Help Now, um, Oh, 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 I'm trying to remember your YouTube handle. And I'm going blank charges in my head, not my heart. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But we all did the Nashville meetup and then did shopping afterwards. It was so much fun. We did brunch at Monell's at the Manor. We ate good. This was all pre-COVID, so just, just let me reminisce for a minute. It was pre-COVID. We were all in close quarters, eating family-style buffet. We ate good. We laughed. We took pictures. Those pictures are posted on my Instagram. So if you're not following me there, you should. I'm a lot act more active during the week on Instagram than I am on YouTube. But Candy Crusher shows up, and she is carrying a gorgeous, MCM bag. And I know we were all connecting over Dooney, but I had so many questions for her while we were trying to eat about MCM. So she planted that seed and kind of got me looking before I really had a need to or a desire to explore. MCM was already on my radar because of the Nashville um, meetup. But this bag right here, this right here, this right here. I was so concerned about the shoulder drop on the large version of this bag. Like literally the large Liz after DJ King got the red one, I was like, all right, it's not going to ever go on sale. I'm just going to bite the bullet and get it. And I asked her about the shoulder drop. And then I also followed up with a text message to Candy Crusher about the shoulder drop. And then when the stores opened back up, when retail opened back up, we're still in the middle of the worst part of, of phase one of the pandemic, I got in my car, masked up, gloved up, cross bodied up to go into the MCM store so that I could try the large lids on and the shoulder drop was a deal breaker for me. So although this one in the medium was a great deal, I was really thinking that it was not going to work because I knew that the shoulder drop on the large one was not um, conducive to the elbow test. It just didn't pass. So needless to say, when it arrived and I was able to do one smooth motion and to get this bag on my shoulder without having to do acrobatics or anything else, I fell in love with it. It's a tote. It doesn't have feet, but it has a great shoulder drop. It can shape shift. And thank you, Mono's Beauty, for the tutorial on the shape shifting, which I failed miserably at during my live. 
I fell in love with this bag. Why? Because as I looked at my Clara um, totes that I have carried, they are almost identical with the exception, coated cotton or coated canvas versus full leather. So I'm glad that I made the purchase. Again, y'all see what color this is? 2020, that's all I'm gonna blame it on, 2020. That's, that's my reasoning for all of the black bags and I technically am not counting this one in the black bags that I purchased, um, but I guess I should. So that ups my count. Um, the pouch in this alone is a perfect grab and go um, for COVID or as a small purse or as a bag or anything else. I just love it. Um, what, what else can I say? The totes at MCM are great. I'm just going to leave it right there. They're just, they're great. They're great. They're great. They're great. They're great. Um, let's see. Am I at the last one? Smith, Courier, Camden, Russell, Saddle, Avery, Boston, Liz, Leisure. Did I miss a bag? No, that's, I'm at 10. Yeah, Liz, all right. The last bag. If 2020 did anything right, if I didn't get to make any other purchase of anything non-essential in 2020 except this, then 2020 would have been a win for me um y'all know I cannot do a lot of talking about this bag because I'm not crying tonight but this bag right here this bag for me is like ladybugs for Lucinda Quimbley so if you if you don't know this story, if you don't know Lucinda's Ladybug story, um, then I will just challenge you to binge watch videos on our channels. Um, because if I had, and this I think is going to surprise y'all a lot, but if I had to get rid, if I could only keep one bag, in my collection like if i had to get rid of everything else everything else i would be walking around the rest of my days in a little small bag and it would be this one it would be this one big old pink heart on the front red small no feet strap done detached if I had to part ways with everything else, this would be the one that remains. Nope, it's not Dooney. It's not MCM. It's Kate Spade. Nope, it's not big. No, it don't have a big butt, feet. It don't have zippers. It don't have the shoulder drop. That it doesn't have any of the other things that I have talked about. But this bag, because of what it means, to me I let everything else go and this would be the one that remains and I think considering the length of time that I've 
been collecting bags, the number of really hard to find Dooney bags that I have. I, I just want you to take in for a moment how priceless this bag is to me in my collection for me to say that all of the other bags, every other Alto, Florentine, um, Tesuda, Swagger, Leisures, Camden, it, it does not matter that I would part ways with every bit of it if it meant that I had the opportunity to keep this one. So that is my best of 2020 because woo, 2020 was a rough one. But you know how I know that I was going to make it to 21. That, and that even if I didn't, that it was going to all be okay. This one. This right here. And I know for a lot of people, you're thinking, hey, it's just a bag. You don't know the story. You have to know the story to understand how I knew that 2020 was not going to break me. It was this. It was this. My Ace of Sparks. So... That's it. That's that's my best. Red Smith, let me just make sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Red Smith, Color Block Courier, my strawberry woven large Camden tote, my Dunienberg Florentine Medium Russell, the Dunienberg saddle bag, the Go Forth Goods Avery tote. My MCM Boston bag, my MCM Wig Shopper, the Dooney and Burke Leisure Shopper, and the best, in my opinion, from my collection that 2020 had to offer was the Kate Spade Nicola Twist Flop in the color Chili. That's it. That's it. Phone, keys. We carry a little wallet. We walk around with my keys in my hand. This one right here. This, this, one, this one stays. This one stays. So, if you missed my winners in all of the other categories, that was last Sunday's live. So, do check that one out. But um, if you are looking to see all of the amazing picks that my tribe sisters um, shared from their collections of the best of 2020 bags, just do a search on YouTube for hashtag best of 2020 bags. Filter it so that it only shows you the results that include that hashtag. And I promise you, you will just get a running list of all of the amazing women in this community that have participated in this tag. So for those of you that are late, it's not over. I know that the end of the month got here really quick. Feel free to continue to post your uh, best of bags. Um, if you'd like to share a couple of your winners from the categories that I reviewed um, last weekend and please share those you don't have to do the whole list but if you got a really good deal that you're excited about if there was a most sought after color or silhouette we want to see you know what you what you like and military mom actually just posted her best of 2020 um, bag so as soon as this live stream is over after you have hit the thumbs up please go over and check out my tribe sister's channel, Military Mom, because she just posted her hashtag best of 2020 bags. Um, Mrs. Q, I think, is uh, going to be off for family reasons this Friday night. So, Ms. Q, correct me if I'm wrong, but there's no For Real Friday this coming Friday. 
I think I'm right. Um, and we will be back on Sunday for Feed Your Addiction. I keep saying I'm going to try to get in like a handbag happy hour or a tribe time. But y'all, I got a wild hair last night about 9.30 that I was going to start my sixth house project of 2021. And I started taking stuff out my pantry for a reorg. <laughs> so that's the reason that my free time, my my happy hour time has been um, adulting uh, and enjoying all of the joys of home ownership and home organization and refreshes and all of that stuff. So I know that I'm amongst friends and I can share that because I have heard from uh, several of you that 2021 you're going to be doing some things differently because you too have to adult this year. So I get it. I get it. Adult on. Um, that's it. Make sure you check and hit the thumbs up before you head out. We'll be back. Um, in two weeks for For Real Friday, I will be back on Sunday, 6 p.m. Eastern, 5 Central for Feed Your Addiction. And go binge watch all of the hashtag best of 2020 bags. And then I also think she, Fancy Girl She, also posted a video earlier today of some of her um, handbag and accessory winners by category. So if you've not checked out her video, um, please make sure that you do that as well. Listen, have an amazing week. Remember, COVID is still outside. So if you can, stay at home. If you can't, mask on, hand sanitize, stay away from people, keep your mask on. So Stay at home if you can. If you can't, put your mask on. And one of the best things, memes, videos, I've comedian skits I've seen is this. Because I think we're, we're getting, we have had quarantine fatigue and sometimes we forget. But listen, when you're at home, wash your hands. When you are out wash your hands. If you can't wash your hands, that's where the hand sanitizer comes in until you can wash your hands. Keep your hands out of your face. Keep them away from your eyes. After you're handling your mail and packages, if you're bringing them straight in, wash your hands in soapy water for at least 20 seconds because the soap helps to break down, dissolve that outer molecule covering of the coronavirus. And once that outer shell is dissolved, it kills the virus. So think about it like Will Smith in the first Independence Day when he took that thing's shield off, right? You couldn't kill it as long as it was there. But once you take it off, if that soft, fleshy tissue, make sure. Wash your hands inside the house. If you can't, hand sanitizer is for outside germs, outside of the house. And that's only good until you can wash your hands. Be safe. Take care. Binge watch some videos. Hit the thumbs up. Leave a comment and let us know that you were here. If you aren't a content creator, leave a comment and let us know uh, your winner categories or what your best of list was. Thank you so very much for watching. Have an amazing week. Until next time, I do hope you find something that feeds your addiction. Take care, everyone.